Hello and happy Thursday. Welcome to another live stream. I am working on finishing up the Lady Death, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> I hope that you have had a great week so far and I look forward to working with you today to finish this one up. Um, what I need to do is the background. So that's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna need to be careful and not ruin it <laughs> in the hopes of making it better. I kill the piece that would suck um let me check and make sure that i'm live so far it's not looking like i am it takes a minute i know i still like to check okay i'm live on facebook i'm just gonna check twitch and then if any of you have said hello i will be there to respond shortly okay yes Woo! It looks like we're live in both places. That's wonderful news. Paul, Jeff, Brian, Beth, you're a new follower. Nice to meet you too. Welcome to the live stream. HB, thank you. Michael, Thulio, Tanya, happy new year to you too, hun. All right. Oh, and Rob is here. Welcome, Rob. Thank you. And Juan, hi. <laughs> Blonde, I know. It's so weird for me. It's going to take a while to get used to it. That's for sure. <laughs> Hello, Kevin and Jeff Martin, Skyler. Hello. Welcome. Happy Thursday to everybody. It's so good to have you here. Before I get too much further, I just want to say one thing, just so everybody knows I am not bummed at all but I have a bit of a migraine. I've been fighting one today, so I've got the like queasy stomach, <clears throat> light sensitivity. Um, so I apologize if I'm a little slow in the brain today. That is why I am not irritated. Nothing is wrong. Just have a headache. I've had them my whole life. It's my, my personal situation to deal with. Never get a chance to see a few minutes. Oh, hello, Dan Hunt, and thank you for stopping in to say hi and saying a comment. You are so awesome. <laughs> Rob, no brain, no pain. So much easier, yeah. <laughs> Brian McNamara, hello and welcome. William, hello. Migraine twinsies, I'm so sorry, Wayne. Weep. Happy Thursday, Matt. You know how those are, Beth. Yeah, they suck. <laughs> You're so sweet, Rob. I hope so. Devin, hello and welcome. Carnage, welcome to the stream. Oh, thank you, David. Yes, I do have, I've seen many chiropractors and stuff. I have, um, I've been diagnosed with severe chronic migraines. It's it's just my thing. I've had it since I was little. Um, but I just wanted to tell you guys, not so that I can get a bunch of sympathy because, you know, I'm going to end up telling you a lot. So don't waste your sympathies on me. <laughs> However, um, I just don't want to seem uh, a little slow or cranky or I'm not smiling as much or not looking in the camera. It's because I'm looking into a light to see you. So if I, I'm blinking oddly and stuff, that's why. Okay, so I did finish uh, a painting today. I already showed you guys the magu. Those are pasties before anyone freaks out. So the magu is complete and I finished the nokomis today. So I, were, I started on both of these with you guys live. So I'm just showing you the completed pieces. Scanning this one was horrendous. It took me so long to try to color match it to the original. Oh my God. <laughs> Sometimes the, my scanner just hates the, the purples mostly. Purples and like um, orange tones are just a nightmare to scan. So anyway, at least it's done now. I've managed to color match it to the best of my ability. <laughs> and those, these two pieces are gonna be part of the Divinica Kickstarter that I am actually working on right now. But for live streams, I switch gears and I'm working on the um, commissions. So these are the holiday 
giveaways that I do every year in November. And winner number three got um, chose to have a Lady Death piece. So that's what I'm working on right now. Um, her hair is not really popping at the moment because I plan to paint the background rather dark and her hair will shine then. So that's what I need to do today. Mark, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Rob. I'm so glad you like the Nokomis. Whoop, whoop, Steve, hello. <laughs> I've been diagnosed with A, B, normal spots all over my brain according to the MRI. Hey, me. Oh, no, Wayne. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you, Bernard. Hello and Happy New Year. Nico, thank you. James, hi. <laughs> okay, so my thoughts for the background. I've gone back and forth. I've had so many thoughts. I've settled on red and black because that is very Lady Death for starters and because I love those colors. So I'm going to be using acrylic ink, I think. So, or acrylic paint, I don't know, let me see. I have, I have acrylic ink in naphthol red and I have acrylic paint in naphthol red. I, you know, I'm not entirely sure which one is better, but I think I'm gonna start with the ink just for funsies. And then I have some black um, acrylic ink or acrylic paint. This one is liquid acrylic color, and then this one is just regular, no, this is fluid acrylic. Who the fuck knows, man? I have no idea, but we're just gonna wing it. <laughs> Jose, thank you. All brain scans always come up negative. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Katie and I are going hiking with wolves on Saturday, going to a wolf sanctuary. Oh my God, that's so awesome, Juan. I hope you and Katie have so much fun. Robert, Sean, you have Divinica number two and three covers. Thank you so much for supporting Divinica. You are awesome. I'm so glad. John Ball Ballard, hello and welcome to the stream. You especially love the gray tones. Yay, okay, so for anyone that is interested in Copic markers, I did all of this part with Copic. Um, I find that the Copic gray tones work really well with Lady Death. I used the cool grays so they have a slight blue tinge to them um, for her skin and hair. I always do. I use some light purple for her rouge because she's such uh, cool tones. The purple is about as colorful as you can go with Lady Death so I use some very light purples to just add a little tiny hint of warmth to her, some cool warmth. <laughs> and then um, red, of course, for her lips. And then I use the toner grays for her clothes. Um, and then I'm going to be doing the acrylic paint or ink or a mixture of the two for the background. And I'm thinking I might want to have some fun and use like a sponge or something for some texture. So we'll see. I'm not going to mask out Lady Death. I'm just going to be careful in my painting. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Shirley, Happy New Year. It's so great to have you back, love. Yay! Oh, and you like the hair color. Thank you. I fried my hair, but... It stays where I place it, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> Alan, thank you. Sandy, welcome. Kevin Lester, thank you for liking the way that I draw Lady Death. Hopefully right now I will not screw it up. Um, so what I'm going to show you is I'm going to set up my paint. So I have a certain way that I work with acrylic. Um, I learned this on YouTube. It's kind of the cheapskate way of <laughs> keeping your acrylics from drying out very quickly. I wish I had learned this at the beginning of my acrylic journey. So this is just a little plastic tray and a baking sheet. Now this one I was using for all the other paintings. I'm going to throw this away. And I have another little piece of baking sheet. So this is paper towel and it's wet. 
And so I'm just placing a little piece of baking sheet in here. <laughs> if you bake cookies, you should have some of this in your kitchen. Oh, that's so awesome, Anthony. I'm so glad that your kid likes my punchline. Woo! I'd love to see you draw yourself as Lady Death. <laughs> Yolanda, thank you. Okay, so it, this keeps the acrylic from, of course, um, from, you know, just getting too watery, but it also keeps it from drying out. So I've got the wax paper on some wet paper towels. And now I'm gonna put down my acrylic ink and my acrylic paint. I'm gonna see which color I like best. They're both naphthol red. Um, it's like the perfect red. Um, but, you know, I don't know the differences between acrylic ink and acrylic paint, so we're gonna, we're gonna see how they work and how they look. So we'll do a couple drops of the acrylic ink. We'll do a couple drops of the actual more thick acrylic paint. And then I'm gonna get myself some black. She wants a blanket with that punchline on it. Can't find it anywhere. Oh, that's so cool. That's got to be one of my favorite lady deaths of yours so far. Oh my goodness, Sarah, thank you. Yay, that's awesome. Okay, and then, so here are my colors. And then I'm probably gonna start working with some white when and if, most likely when is the proper word. I go into the hair accidentally with some of my paint. I can then add more strands and details to her hair with some white acrylic on top. I know, I have blonde hair now. Yay! <laughs> We're testing a theory. This is all very scientific to see if blondes have more fun. I have never been blonde in my life. I was born with dark brown hair. As I got older, it went black, and that is all I've ever had. Any reds that you guys have seen in my hair before were clip-ins except for a very short amount of time where I actually bleached a few strands and dry dyed them red, but my shower looked like a crime scene and I was like, no thank you, hard pass. Gordon, happy 2021. <laughs> thank you. I was in the process of giving Mr. Cat a bath a lot easier than washing with bathtub water. Yeah, I uh, I do dry shampoo for Sherlock. <laughs> okay. Your friends love the Ahsoka Tano prints. Aw, thank you for getting them, Shirley. I'm so glad that they were happy with their gifts. That's awesome. All right, so let me get some of my paint brushes. I've got a few that I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna use a couple different sizes and we're gonna start filling in with red. So I'm gonna carefully paint around Lady Death in red first. And guys, you know, we're, we're gonna wing it. I don't really know how this is gonna look, but let's see how, let's see how it goes. So here goes nothing. <laughs> That's funny, Finn. <laughs> oh, it's a good red. I'm telling you, if you're looking for a good red for Lady Death and blood, naphthol red. <laughs> Here we go, Rob. I almost look professional. Oh no, Jeff. <laughs> You're so sweet, Shirley. Thank you, hon. <laughs> You're looking for a good red? I'm always here for the assist, Mr. E. <laughs> At the 
end, whenever I'm doing any um, character that, that mostly, mostly with commissions. So when I'm traditionally painting a lady death or, you know, working with Copic or whatever, at the very end, I will always pull out some strands. So I'll take some white acrylic something or other and I will, you know, just loosely and roughly and fast so that your lines are clean. Just give some stray hairs, you know, it, no one's hair really, unless it's gelled down, is all going perfectly in the right direction. I'm sure with mine, if you could see it closely, there's like pieces sticking up and shit. And that's, that makes it look more natural and less like a hat helmet, you know, or a hair helmet. <laughs> Tokiape, good evening. See you later, Finn. Oh, Robert Sean, I'm sorry for missing that. Um, this is on paper. So I use, um, right now I'm using Arches Hot Press watercolor paper. And the reason being that I do a lot of watercolor work. And secondly, it, um, it, uh, it takes acrylic very nicely and it's smooth. That's why I use hot press. Think of it like ironed paper. So it doesn't have as much texture to it. And at the moment, that is my personal preference. Over time, I may branch out into cold press, which is more textured paper, but Arches is the most um, smooth paper that I've managed to find. And for now, it's working with my style. So that's what I use. Lucid Vax, hello, welcome to the stream. Thank you, Tokiape, that makes me so happy. Anthony, hello, happy new year to you too. So this is gonna be a little bit slow and cautious on this side because I've got Lady Death with a, an aggressive side swoop and so this side has a lot more of her curls and hair detail. Um, and I want to make sure it's clean. So I'm going to go a little bit slowly here. I apologize if you get bored. This is the kind of thing that I should film on time lapse and post and you can see it done in like 30 seconds. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Welcome to the stream and happy new year. JC, howdy. Hello, Jeffrey Marsh. Um, about blanks and commissions, I'm very sorry, but I am I'm not accepting commissions right now. I am so behind on my wait list. It's going to be a couple years. Um, but the best way to keep on top of my commission list or any art that I'm offering is if you subscribe to my email list. And that is at my website. And the URL is written right below me right here. Thank you, Gabriel. It's soothing to watch. Oh, good. Yeah, sorry about that, Jeffrey Marsh. Rob, thank you. You're a sweetheart. Well, Jeffrey, you, you caught me at the right place. Whenever someone has a question for me about anything, catching me here is the best place to do it. So thank you. Marcus, Happy New Year. Lauren, hello, welcome to the stream. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Right now it kind of does, Steve. But um, hopefully as I complete it, it won't have that look. Yes, <laughs> years truly. I am currently working on a three-year backlog. My goal for 2021, one of the many, is that I can get through my wait list and actually complete them. Wouldn't that be awesome?
Yeah, Doug, there's going to be uh, black in there too. I'm going for a heavily textured look. Hopefully it'll work. Kind of a grungy background. Um, but I'm putting a red base first and then I will add black on top. <laughs> yeah. You started collecting Lady Death in 1994. Well done. Serious collector right there. So next year the list will open. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Uh, I'd love to see your Vampirella and your Venom. Well, I have actually never drawn Venom. I've drawn like a Venomized Black Cat for a commission for someone one time, but that's the closest I've ever gotten to drawing Venom. Um, Vampirella I'm working on next. I can show you the line art for it. So here's the line art for Vampirella. Um, and I'll start coloring her maybe today, possibly tomorrow, we'll see. Now it's a goal of yours to own a piece of my art someday. Ah, oh, thank you, Lady Death 3780. That is so awesome of you. The best way to get um, any art from me is to subscribe to my email list. That is where I post anything that is available. So you can find the subscribe link if you go to my website which is written right below me. Oh, that's awesome, David Glenns. Okay, things are gonna start getting crazy once all of this, I need to do a careful outline around her. Oh, my hair. The vamp, uh, Johnny, the, the Vampirella is a commission, but I probably will offer it to Comics Elite and see if they want it or, yeah. I'll see if there's somebody who would like to use it as a variant cover. Um, that's what I did last year with my um, art that I... Uh, I did for the Christmas giveaway as well. I got another Vampirella, so that ended up becoming a cover. <laughs> okay, mystery. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. I'm so glad that you like my new hairstyle. <laughs> Did I say that last year? I was trying to get, well, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I did. I wouldn't be surprised. That was definitely an unrealistic goal for last year, but I, I managed to get through over half of it last year. So maybe this year I'll be able to finish the final half. Wouldn't that be fabulous? Dorota, hello, miss you too. So good to see you here. <laughs> hello, James. Leslie, welcome to the stream, love. How's Sherlock like the new hair? He is staring at me blankly like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I don't think he's sure about me yet, but I still feed him, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dorota. That is so kind. 
I, uh, I'm going so very, very gray, and that's why I'm bleaching out the dye. I've been covering my um, gray hair since I was like 16, um, and now there's just too much white hair for me to cover. It's getting really aggressive, so I'm bleaching out the black dye, which is why I cut off like over two feet of hair, <laughs> and I'm bleaching it um, so that I can transition to white. Okay, I've got to be really careful right here. Hey Scott, yes, I have dyed my hair for many years um, since I was 16 to cover uh, any white hair that was growing in. Now the white hair has won. Yes, I cut off two feet of hair. Probably more than two feet. My, my hair was exactly three feet long and I don't think this is a foot. Tanya, hello! Yes, I am going <laughs> through a process. Fried my hair to death over the Christmas holidays. Good times. <laughs> uh, so good to see you, love. I love the, the colors you put in your hair too, Tanya. That was so pretty. Miss you. <laughs> you wouldn't know what hair feels like. You've been bald for years. <laughs> Yes, it's a skull necklace. It was um, made by a, um, a jeweler who unfortunately no longer has her jewelry site. I loved her site. I had so many things on my wish list. Um, but yes, at least I have this one. Well, having shorter hair is certainly easier. It's easier on my neck. It was getting quite sore from the weight of my hair. Um, and it's just uh, a little easier to deal with and it was easier to bleach this much than it would have been to bleach three feet of it. <laughs> is convinced virtual hair is a thing. <laughs> Kelly, hello and welcome. I'm so glad you were able to catch me on a live stream. Okay, so you are working on a character kind of struggling with two poses. Um, and is it that you're trying to decide between the poses, Kelly? Tom, hello! Welcome to the stream. Happy Thursday! Aw, I'm so sorry, Dorota. <laughs> I completely forgot about our molasses hair treatment. Man, that was good times, huh? <laughs> well, Mr. E, um, send me her her the link to her site. I will definitely give it a look. Jordan Seward, thank you. You have skull silicone molds for ice and jello. Nice. <laughs> Good for you, Wayne. You don't want to have to deal with heavy hair. <laughs> Carmen, hello. Hey, Carmen, I tried, I requested permission to join um, the top fans group with my art page. Can you give me permission? <laughs> or approve me, <laughs> please? <laughs> Facebook has kind of changed if you have a page and you have a personal page, right? 
and you can really only choose one and work within that one and then you have to toggle between the two now. So um, I'm usually not on my personal page and I kind of mostly hang out in my art page. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm trying to join again. <laughs> so I'm just working out the fine details of my story. Yay, Murkai! That's so great! Congratulations! Oh, okay, um, Kelly. I totally understand about struggling with poses. Um, and if you want those two poses specifically, then honestly, the only thing that you can do is just struggle through it. I know that it's so hard um, to get it right. Maybe um, if you're really struggling, take a photo of yourself or a friend um, in that pose so you can try to see what it is that, that you're not getting right. Um, also take the piece and flip it um, if you can take it onto the computer or take a picture on your phone um, and then flip it so then you can see the issues. Chrome, what has COVID done? <laughs> Dawn went crazy. <laughs> I'm blonde now. It is very jarring to look in the mirror for me personally at the moment. <laughs> Sai Darka, thank you. You're welcome, Kelly. I completely understand struggling with poses. It happens to me all the time. Cat's cool creations on Etsy. Okay, hold please. I just need to copy that. Okay, I'm just loading this. Nice. I will take a peruse through her store after the live stream, but I have, I have the link open. Okay. Philip, hello. There's over a hundred Dalmatians running around somewhere, isn't there? Are you saying I look like Corella DeVille, Mike? I'm so offended. No, I absolutely do. And my hair is like so fried if I wanted to, I could totally have the Corella hair haircut right now too. <laughs> you can absolutely swoon over Chrome text on Facebook, Tom. Go for it. Mike, you have some very intense admirers, so they're going to leave Twitch now to swoon over you on Facebook. <laughs> uh, yeah, Philip, today I have got myself a nice bonker migraine, but in general, I'm doing great. Thank you. Van Helsing, what characters? <laughs> Mike says, oh, fuck. <laughs> Tom, Mike's running away from you. You better go there fast. <laughs> Tom's like scary intense. <laughs> there are a couple pieces I will like for sure. Ooh, thank you, Devin. Devin has given the site a pre-perusal for me. Travis, hello, thank you. You paint by number, Alan, your son, gave me a painting, almost finished with it. Oh, that's so awesome, Dorota. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I've still got the migraines. It's the, the never-ending situation. I'm in! Thank you, Carmen! <laughs> oh, you've met Chrome in person, Tom? When? Like at an LA con or something? Is it 
me or does the red? Yes, everybody is seeing that right now. But you know, once it all comes together and it's not just sitting on her head like this, I have a feeling it will lose the Santa look. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Tom met him at the far end of his binoculars. <laughs> Oh, Patrick. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know that, that reds are hard to choose. This one is Naphthol Red Deep. It's my favorite acrylic red color. It's not stalking if he doesn't see you. <laughs> Salt Lake, and I think it was WonderCon, the accent made me forget where I was. <laughs> That's so cool, Robert and Susie. Yay! If there's no restraining order, you're not doing it well. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now we're now we're in business. I've I've done around the tricky part. <laughs> I have a feeling uh someone's getting a restraining order. <laughs> Salt Lake, he was with Joe and Ebass. Nice. Okay, so I want the base and the top to be all grungy like like so. Then it kind of looks like blood dripping down a wall and we go we are going for for you know a little bit more creepy than than not. <laughs> I'll add the restraining order to my collection. <laughs> Tom, you're such a winner. <laughs> Hello Stanley, welcome to the stream today. Thank you, Corey. So there's also gonna be black going on in here. For now, we're gonna get the red. And we're gonna do it this way as well. <laughs> You'll swim to Australia for the accent. Yes. Absolutely, Wayne. The real trick is trying to keep my my strokes straight <laughs> and and not have wonky strokes. We don't want wonky veering strokes. Do with that as you will. <laughs> Excellent, Mr. E. That is what we're going for. If it's gonna be a Santa hat, it better be fucked up and shredded, right? <laughs> Christmas is over. <laughs> no wonky strokes. All right, I've gotta get in this little corner real quick. The ink is starting to dry on a good portion of my brush, but I'm, I think I'm happy with that because while it's making it a little globby for, for the detail work, it's gonna make the, the dry brush stroke have the right look. Oh my God, Tom, that would be amazing. <laughs> Juan, X 
Excellent! That best comment yet. <laughs> My giggles are ca cracking Michelle up. Oh, hello, Michelle. <laughs> Hi, Leslie. Steever, hello and welcome to the stream. Thank you for liking the blonde hair. It is a big change for me. Terrence, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Steber. <laughs> I'm glad you think so, Marcus. I was worried that I was going to go very slow with this red portion and everybody was going to get bored. Oh, thank you, Steber. Hello, Ta Youngin. Your name is Will. Okay, I'll try to remember. All right, so when I go over the acrylic as it dries, the overlap, of course, goes a little bit darker with ink. Um, so I'm going to try to keep it all even, but thankfully I am going to be moving into adding in some black ink as well. So it's not just going to be red. Um, so hopefully it should all look a little better once it is complete and, you know, not Santa-ish. <laughs> Okay, the auburn hair was fantastic. The blonde is pretty wonderful too. Thank you, Steve. Okay, Tom, Don needs to be the permanent. Aw, thank you. How would you go about painting fur on ceramic? Oh man, I have no idea. I have never painted on ceramic. Um. Was it planned to debut your platinum beauty by drawing a pet? No, it wasn't, Matthew. <laughs> I didn't think of that, honestly. Jordan, thank you. All right, I need more acrylic ink. We are going through this stuff fast. Brian really needs to take this as a cover. Thank you, guys. I will definitely send a high-res scan to Brian. It's kind of an unspoken agreement between us that I will do that. I just got to do a careful outline around her hair so that I don't accidentally um, paint inside the lines in a bad way for her hair. You're totally seeing a metal cover of this? Yay! <laughs> Bored is for noobs. We are veteran stream connoisseurs. <laughs> yeah, because you're awesome, Devin. Oh, Steve, um, Steve Burns. I did cry this morning when Laura left. So tears were, were, were shed. My son is now back at, in Victoria, <laughs> back at university, and mommy was sad. Buried somewhere deep. Aw, that's so awesome, Dorota. I, it is really fun to paint, that's for sure. Thank you, MP, it's good to see you. And thanks for stopping in. 
You said I would. I know you said I would. And I was thinking I probably wouldn't. You know, I'm used to it. I'm a badass now. I've done this before. No, I cried. <laughs> he was officially sad. I don't know. I think he's pretty excited about being back. Um, because what happened is that usually university starts yesterday, but they delayed everything and university like school doesn't officially start until the 11th. So him and his buddies all had their plane tickets to go home right around now. And so, um, they're all gonna be hanging out together and they've got a few days to like, after they've had vacation with the boring parents, now they're gonna have a few days of vacation with their buddies and then school begins. So it's kind of the best of both worlds for them. <laughs> it's been quite a while, been following your posts. Well, it's so great to have you here for a few minutes. Thank you. Ah, that's an, I didn't know why, Rob, but that makes perfect sense. Yes, it is going to be party time, I think. Social distance partying, so as much partying as can be had. <laughs> David Ray, hello. Thank you for joining in. Nice days in spring are better, yeah. But at least it's more, um, it's more mild weather than here, Marcus. It's so snowy and cold here. Victoria is an island and much warmer than here. There may be a leg wrap <laughs> Oh my God, I really hope I'm there to see it, Tom. <laughs> A leg wrap hug. Oh my God. <laughs> I so hope I'm there to see this. Chrome's a good sport. I bet you he'd let you. <laughs> he was in a few other episodes. Oh, lol. Tom, Rob just ratted you out on Facebook. You just want Chrome to pick you up dirty dancing style. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I can picture it now. <laughs> oh, Steve is picturing it already as well. <laughs> Beer pong is an acceptable form of social distancing. Because Tom is going to have the time of his life. Oh, boy. Hello! So good to see you, love! Biology and chemistry. Oh, you guys, we're all home for Christmas. That's so wonderful, Dorota. Yeah, I still have two of mine with me, but the oldest is studying computer science. So cool with all the things your kids are doing. That's wonderful. Witchell, have a good night. Thank you for stopping in for a minute. 
Chili Dog, hello and welcome to the stream. Oh, that's so great, Tom. I really hope that I'm there to see your next encounter with Chrome. I'm gonna love it so much. Oh, cool, Marcus. I've never seen the botanical gardens in Vancouver. Lies, Philip. Mubot's being bitchy. Sarah wants this art. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Hi, love. Okay, so I'm going to get the, the brush strokes now. <laughs> Poor Chrome is going to need security at his table. I think so, yes. <laughs> Hello, Suresh. Welcome to the stream. Love you, Kylie. Thank you for stopping in for a minute. Have a great day. I was. Oh, yay. I, I don't even remember Dorota. That is crazy. It's so great to catch up with you here. Oh, and just so everybody knows, because it seems like I'm commenting on things that you can't see the comments, I'm, I'm live in two places at the moment. I'm live on Facebook and on Twitch. One less Australian to keep my attention away from Chrome. <laughs> at least Tom's honest. feel like there needs to be one solid swoosh right there. You forget to tell Facebook that Twitch is where the real fun is at. Yes, Facebook people. We have a few more things going on on Twitch. There are some games and uh, there's 8-Ball and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus.
I'm looking forward to getting the black texture going on this. Chili dog, thank you. Hmm. I just gotta make sure that the piece looks random enough. So I'm gonna, you know, be looking at it, trying to make sure it's right. I'm gonna, I don't wanna have this side not have enough red. Um, because then it's going to look like the whole piece is weighted down to that side, you know, the way that her hair is, and then the red goes all the way to the edge of the paper. So I'm going to take the red to the edge of the paper on this side as well. Trevor Humphreys, hello! You're a QA analyst contractor at Facebook in the gaming group. Wow! Even the upside down of the boobies defy gravity. Success! <laughs> Nick Griggs, thank you! And thanks for stopping in for a minute. Hanusol, welcome to the stream! Uh, Beth King, what Twitch is, is it's a, it's a platform. Really, it was made, I think, for gamers. Um, but it's another live streaming platform. So, um, I live stream there as well. And it's, it's a little bit more set up for longer live streams like I do. Um, so you're more than welcome to check it out. Just go to twitch.tv.com, I think it is. And then, or it's just twitch.tv and then just search my name. Um, and then you can find it there. Thank you, Daniel Cooper. <laughs> Zero G boobies for the win. Thank you, Dorota. Yes, Twitch is where the cool kids are. I am kind of liking the grunginess. <laughs> oh, I am too, Zane. I am quite nervous about it. But you know, you gotta, gotta uh, face the fear on that one. It's twitch.tv, okay. So it's not, there's no .com afterwards. Thank you, Tom. I can't computer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rihanna, hello, thank you, hun. Bleaching out black dye is a whole thing I have learned. Oh, Rob, you're a sweetheart, thank you. All right, it's going a little bit wonktastic at the bottom. I'm going to fix that. High Fidelity, the TV show, pretty great, would recommend. Oh, cool. Oh, they own the .com as well, so if you try Twitch.com, it will redirect to Twitch TV. Thank you, Zane. That's good to know. Oh, nice, Patrick. Twitch is one of Facebook's main competitors in regarding to streaming video. Interesting. All right, we've got to straighten this shit out a little bit. I might 
go this way. Hello, happy new year. Welcome to the stream. Matter of fact, going to switch to Twitch right now. Okay, Patrick. Okay, something kind of like that. I'm not sure it's kind of rounding like her head a little bit, so I'm going to I'm going to break that up a little bit. I don't like the the round thing. See you later, Fox. Is Lady Death a vampire? No, she's not, Kelly, but it's just that some of, you know, one of her theme colors is red. She's kind of black and red are her colors. This is the first stream you've ever watched. Yay! All right, I hope I'm not making anybody have motion sickness with all my turning of the page. We just want a little bit more texture going on. All right, I'm gonna fill in here. Thank you, Kelly. Kara, hello. Welcome to the stream, love. Hello, Verneslon, or Vernels, oh, VR Nelson Art. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Maybe I should learn to read before I try to live stream. All right, now it's time to switch to the black. Um, and I want to add more dry brush strokes with a black, with a black ink now. So just getting some paper towel, dry off my brush. Okay, so I've got some acrylic ink or it's more like liquid acrylic paint and here goes nothing um gonna get some black going on in here i'm just gonna put some around here i 
So now that like I'm seeing her against everything else, um, I'm thinking that I probably could have gone a little bit stronger with her line, the line art around her. Um, so I might go back in and probably make a few adjustments in the inking and darken up the lines a little bit. Xavier, hello! Noodling has been initiated. You called it, Steve. I need the brush to be drier. No overthinking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so you guys are telling me to not change the inks. All right. Noted. Derek Albright, hello, welcome to the stream. Yes, new hair for a new year. I had some time off during the holiday break, so I got it my hair. Thank you, Lady Death. Okay, I've just got, oh, you guys can see it, good. Thank you, Mr. E. Yes. Okay, gotta make sure that's dry enough. So we need the dry brush textured look. Oh, just so everybody knows, I forgot to put it in the the Wednesday email, but tomorrow is gonna we're gonna resume the auction thing. So I've got a um, one of the I think it was a mystery envelope. Um, it's the Lady Death Necro book. Um, so I've got one of those. It's not as expensive, I don't think, as the one that I put up last week or last time I did one of the auctions, but that'll be on my Facebook page. So I'm giving you all an early heads up. I'll put post the auction um, at noon tomorrow and then it'll end at noon on Saturday. 
Um, so just a heads up to everybody. I'm really sorry. I meant to put that in the email and I forgot. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. Yay. That is true. They are as, as expensive as the bitters let them be. You're right, Rob. Um, you're right. Starting bit. The starting bit is lower. Let's put it that way. Thank you, Marcus. I think your remarks at the coffin during your appreciation day could have gone crazy high. <laughs> I suppose so. We will never know. All right, now I'm gonna need to get a little bit more strong uh, black lines here. Uh, Daniel Sotelo, I used um, Copic markers, so the Copic sketch markers in cool gray. So they have a little bit of a uh, bluish undertone and that's what I used for her, um, her skin. You like the red, thank you Van Helsing. Hello David, good evening. Thank you, Robert. Yes, I am noodling now. But I told you guys, I wanted a grungy look. So that's what we're going for here. Kind of painterly, messy situation. Yes, I'm happy with this. <laughs> You have Copics, but the gray, I don't think I have. Oh, okay, Daniel. Yeah, um, you know, Copics, you can you can make it work with, with a different type of gray if you don't have uh, the cool gray. Um, just see what you have that might work. Lady Death has very uh, pale skin, so I find that the blue tone grays work really well for her. But if you don't have that, there are plenty of other artists that don't use the, the cool grays. <laughs> you have to add black, blood, red background to provide grunge. Yes. <laughs> okay, I've got to dry this out a little bit. 
I can only imagine that a dried acrylic paint is probably not the best thing for my brush. So I'll wash it out as soon as I can. A black wall with blood spatter. Yay! Been watching anything good during the lockdown? We watched, I'm so behind on TV shows, so anything that I watched is probably things you guys have all already seen. Um, I watched through the Queen's Gambit, loved it. That was awesome. Trying to think what else. Watching through um, the anime show Death Note. It's pretty intense, but awesome. I think that's all I managed to watch. Oh, and then we were watching through Harry Potter, but you guys already know that. Troy Hudson, hello and welcome to the stream. Thank you. Have you ever done a commission or a piece where the character has very intricate tattoos exactly like the person has? Yes, I have. Um, it just takes longer. <laughs> How's my chess game? I, I don't know how to play it at all. So, quite bad. I really enjoyed it, Tom. Yeah, it is about chess, but like, it, it's just, it's awesome how they do it. And um, her whole story is very cool. I liked it. I really liked it. You recommend Imposters on Netflix. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. Travis, hello, Imposters. And someone else recommended something else, I can't remember. I'll give it a shot, nothing to watch on TV. <laughs> Good, give it a shot. They gave out this Comixology um, chapstick at New York Comic Con, and it's actually like, it tastes like candy. It, it's not exactly like the, the, the most soothing chapstick in the world if your lips are actually chapped, but it's kind of like snack time on another time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to be sort of careful. Oh, everything is dry. Okay, we're good. Love, Death, and Robots. No, I haven't watched that one. Love, Death, Go for the chapstick, stay for the art. <laughs> 
That's why you all go to the Comic Cons, the chapstick. <laughs> Ooh, got a little watery. We don't want watery here. Ah, still watery. Fuck. Maybe I should put a little bit more black on this side. Oh, you have yet to attend a con? They are fun. I've hardly ever caught con crud. Like, it's, do you guys get con crud most of the time or is it kind of rare? Like, I literally go to, I don't know, usually between 14 and 18 cons a year. I don't feel like I, I, I've caught con crud like maybe, I don't know, three or four times total. <laughs> Thank you, Troy. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Tom, taking care of people. I have lost my voice at cons rather frequently. And then I like try to talk to somebody and it's either a whisper or a squeak. So I have to go for the squeak because no one can hear the whisper. <laughs> and that's really embarrassing, I'm telling you. Good night, Wayne. I hope that your head feels better. Take care of yourself. I'll see you later. Gary Hill, thank you. <laughs> Devin says he is con crud. <laughs> no, you're not, Devin. You've never gotten it. Well done, Kara. All right, I need to get a little bit more ink. Is there no con crud in Canada? <laughs> uh, no, there absolutely is. WonderCon's the only place you've caught con crud. Ever meet someone at a con and have a fangirl moment? Absolutely, Van Helsing. I just go silent and my face turns red. It's very embarrassing. Yeah, I, I guess I generally have a pretty good immune system too because I, you know, I don't really get sick very often, knock on wood. I have my headaches with me always, but other than that, I don't really get sick. It is the cute, oh, Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> when I have my fangirl moments, it's so embarrassing, Joe. JP Roth has seen me have my fangirl moments. They're, they're really quite embarrassing. She knows. Really tall, hello. You know, they, they really might, Zane. See if you're waiting. Well, I probably will when we meet because, you know, I've been talking with you guys on these streams for so long. I'm going to be so excited to meet you in person, though you really don't want me to have like my face turn red and I go quiet because then that's just, that's just no fun. 
So hopefully I'm not gonna like have any kind of weird reaction. We're just gonna have happiness and laughs. <laughs> That's what we're going for. Just good times all around. Yay, really tall. I was hoping that you were happy with it. Just need a little bit more ink. It's starting to dry out. You only fangirl oven over chrome. You talk to me like you've known me forever. Well, I don't know if I should be flattered or offended, Tom. You have so many questions for Campbell. There's no fangirling. Oh, wow. Raphael, hello and thank you. Oh, that's so funny, Stever. If it's Tom, it's safe to go with offended. <laughs> you guys orchestrated a plan for me? For what? Oh, yay, Van Helsing. Well, it's great to have you here. I want a little bit more black down there. Oh, yay, really tall. I'm so glad that you're happy with it. I, I hope you don't mind the grungy background I'm giving you. I just got inspired to do that this time. Dawn has met my children. Chrome has not. He's my dirty little secret. Oh my God, Tom. <laughs> oh, I wish I could just compile all of these things that you've said on stream and send it to Chrome. Oh, that would be a good time. Would love to hear Chrome's reaction to all these comments. Okay, I gotta dry this out. Pash4, hello and welcome to the stream. Oh, are you serious? Wow, yeah, okay, that would have been a, a tough one for me for sure. Thank you, Pass. No, Pash. If you have the VOD, we can replay and write down all of Tom's comments and send them off. Yes, that is a very good, <laughs> it's a good idea, Kara. Uh, Chrome had to depart quickly once the leg wrap issue was raised. <laughs> Just send him the link. I know. Yeah, what the fan art, that was pretty much my reaction, though it all went on in my head and my face just went completely red and I sounded like the creepiest stalker ever. It was really bad. Uh, Pash, I'm a professional comic book artist. I dabble in paint and watercolor and ink and pencils and all of the above. You've already sent them to Chrome, Zodiac style. <laughs> okay, Tom is, um, Tom's ahead of us. We don't get to rat him out. It seems like he's already done it for himself. Bummer. Louie, hello, thank you. 
Uh, Pash, yes, the, the drawings in the corner that are on the slideshow, yes, that is my work. I need to update it. I haven't done so in a long time. <laughs> I really wanted to tattletale, Tom. Now I don't get the pleasure. God damn it. I think I'm happy with the level of grunge. Yay! Do you think the bottom down here needs more black or red or neither? The resting bitch face Dawn gave me when I met her in, in Vegas pretty much killed the fangirling. That's just my face, Tom. There's nothing that I can do about the aggressive bitchiness radiating from my pupils. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. <laughs> so don't copy down the comments. Oh, if you feel like copying down the comments, absolutely do it. <laughs> Dawn and the Notorious RBF. I know. You're blind to bitch face. I love you, Devin. That's why you were, you just came up and started chatting. It was fantastic. <laughs> okay, so everyone is telling me to stop. I was intensely sketching. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that's when the bitch face really comes out to shine. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> okay, Tom says Chrome hasn't cracked the Zodiac cipher so yes we need tattletailing can commence excellent nathan hello thank you all right so everyone is telling me to back off back off i shall so now it's the fun part the fun part if you didn't know is doing the little white swoopy bits where her hair is coming out of the blockiness. I don't like the blockiness that is there right now. Um, so adding the extra little wispy bits of hair afterwards make it look a little bit more realistic. JP Roth made you stop and talk to you. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. <laughs> yes. Joe's really good at that. You know, if I get like two tunnel vision on the art, she'll give me a little poke and be like, Dawn, someone's waiting to talk to you. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> the only thing this needs more of is me. <laughs> You're sending me a text. Oh my goodness, that's so amazing. Carrie, you absolutely don't have to do that. That is true, Van Helsing. If you update the slideshow, throw in a drawing from Dan. It would surprise us all, especially Dan. <laughs> you have yet to meet Joe in person. Weep. Okay, I think I'm going to use a thinner brush for this. Oh, wow. Tom says, do it, Kara. I dare you. <laughs> Aw. Ted, hello. Uh, by the way, Volusia is Ted, everyone. Hello, Ted. All right, so I've switched to a thinner... Mm, no, I'm not going to. Never mind. Erase, erase. This brush is not my best brush. It's kind of frayed at the edges. And Rob is making me concerned about split ends on Lady Death now. Christopher, thank you. I really appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> yes, Pash. Um, absolutely. Doing a little swoop of hair in the front is a fantastic way to cover up situations with eyeballs. I have a very hard time getting both of them to look in the same direction. One's usually traveling off somewhere. <laughs> so 
while I do sometimes unfortunately have to draw both eyes, it is very fun when you can add a little swoop, add a little mystery, cover the problem. Though Lady Death isn't really difficult for me because she has no pupils, so I don't have trouble with her ever, but <laughs> still, the swoop adds the mystery and, you know, makes it intentional, uh, makes it intentional that you don't have to draw both eyes. Oh, that is so awesome, Devin. Yeah, it would be so cool if they managed to go to Toronto. All right, so I'm using my um, Winsor & Newton inking brush to do this. Thank you, Charles. Just look at that subtle boobage. Oh, excellent, Rob. All right, so um, I always like at the end, especially when I've painted a background, you don't want to have to paint around all these little tiny wisps of hair. So I leave them pretty blocky. And then I bring the realistic at the very end with some white paint or, you know, whatever color the character's hair happens to be, but in this case, white. So I'm using white ink right now. And I'm just going to do some little wispy bits to her hair. Eric is so good with people coming to see him. I've learned so much about how to, you know, how to, um, seem approachable at conventions. Uh, Tom, I hadn't really gotten that down yet when you first met me. Uh, now I learned from Eric to stand up so that you're at eye level with people and they don't feel like they're disturbing you and all of those things I've learned from Ebas. He's so, so great at it. What is Sherlock doing? He is laying beside his bed that I bought for him and stretched out on the ground. See ya, Mark. Hello and welcome to the stream. All right, I'm going to be looking down so that I don't screw up on her wispy hair bits. Um, I will catch up on questions and comments in a moment. Is this a Sherlock hair? It is. God damn it. So I'm using uh, acrylic white ink for this. Oh, for sure, because Joe knows I want to be disturbed and it's not intentional that I get all like focused bitchy about things. I really don't mean to. <laughs> Thank you, Siamok. It's all good. I've been it all since. Oh, yay. Good. Thank you, Tom. Forgiveness is always appreciated.
Yeah, I feel like little bits of hair coming out of of some of these curls just makes them it makes the whole thing look more realistic. Unless your hair is fried to death like mine, it doesn't generally stay in chunks that are like perfectly clean. There's always a few little stray clean shiny hairs flitting about. Oh, thank you, Chris. Okay, I am just cleaning out my brush. The white ink really dries quite quickly. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing better. Um, the, the white ink dries on the brush and gets really sticky really fast, so I have to clean my brush and start over frequently. Pedro, thank you. Chromantic, oh my God, that's so great. Chromantic for the win, who came up with that? Kara, did you come up with that? Do I sell these? Um, not this one specifically, Chris, but I do have uh, other art of mine for sale sometimes. The best way to keep on top of all that is if you subscribe to my email list. So it's uh, if you go to my website that's written right below me right here, um, subscribe to my email list and you will have all the details. Yeah, well done, Kara. Chromantic. I'm telling you, I can so see Chrome using that as like the title of his next art book. His Chromanesque is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Stanley. I want this bit to be a little bit longer and this one here too. Hello, welcome to the stream. You like the earring? Oh, yeah, yeah, I still need to color the earring. Thanks for reminding me, Siamok. <laughs> Thank you, really tall. His sketch of you as if, oh my goodness, it's so good. Oh, that would be so perfect, Tom. It's an epic love story. A story of unrequited love. <laughs> oh my God. It's good to see you as well, Stanley. It's been requited in my mind. Good, Tom. That is exactly how you should, you should consider it. You know, stay positive. Don't ever lose hope. <laughs> Thank you, Arlie. Thank you, Chris Rowe. That is so awesome. I appreciate it a ton. Seriously. And um, I am... I'm live on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, um, usually from around 5 to 8 p.m. Mountain Time because I live in Calgary. So right now, so you know what the time difference is, it's 6.52 p.m. for me. It is going to be your masterpiece. <laughs> It's so good to see you, Arlie, and thank you for your kind words about my hair. It is a work in progress. Slightly more yellow-hued than I would like, but 
you know, it's very difficult to bleach out black hair dye. Bradley, thank you. Yay. Thank you, David. So it's not wanting to show up as good over the gray, which is very weird. Thank you, Orca Bob. Yay! Right, got to clean out my brush again. It's getting sticky. How long have you been painting? Sorry, Chris Rowe, I was looking down. I'm not trying to ignore <laughs> what it's what happens. Um, I have been drawing in comics for since 2011 is when I started working towards being in comics. So almost 10 years, um, painting, not that long, a few years though. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Evan. Yay, Joseph, thank you. I really appreciate all of you guys that are saying the blonde hair is working. I was very nervous as to how that was, this was gonna turn out. I've gotta really glob the paint on here. For some reason over the Copic and colored pencil, the paints are not working as good. I guess because they're, they're soaking into the paper so they're just showing up a little bit more blotchy. Whereas over the acrylic, even though it's darker colors, it's, I guess, sitting on top because the acrylic itself is so plastic based. Um, so it's not soaking into the paper and it's drying nice and smooth. It's weird how it goes like that sometimes. I can't wait to read this, Kara. Are you making it like an unrequited love story or is there gonna be some requitedness? I don't even know what the proper word is for that. Vampy, hello, welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh, I love that, Tom. <laughs> oh, Bradley, I am currently working on Arches Hot Press watercolor paper right now.
Kevin, welcome to the stream. Happy New Year. I look like Power Girl now. <laughs> yeah, it's about the right shade. I'm going for white, white hair. Oh, awesome, Vampy Batty. I hope that for you too. Yeah, we're going to have to do a few coats, especially over where there's black. Ah, I just got my finger in the ink. <laughs> no, no cosplaying, Kevin. Just, you know, working with the hair color I've got now. Yes, the deep white Canadian tan. got, I stuck my hand in some of the white, which is going to cause me some problems. I need to be careful. All right, we're going to go upside down so I don't stick my, uh, I don't accidentally get any ink on her face. I'm just going to cover that up real quick. There will be much requiting. <laughs> Boy, that's some intense chrome love happening. I love it. <laughs> it's going to be so fun to read. Okay, I'm almost done with this, and then we're going to probably move on to Vampirella because then this one will be done. Woo! <laughs> oh, I forgot to color the skull and her earrings. So those two things I haven't done yet. I was planning to color them like gold toned, um, 
So yes, I need to do that too. We're gonna have to do some of this upside down. Zane, have a wonderful evening. Thanks for hanging out for a while. See you later. Isley Forgettable, hello. Welcome to the stream. Marcus, thank you. That is so kind. Mm. My brush is starting to get all globby again. Yay, thank you, Shane. That means so much. Woo! Oh, Gian, I am so sorry that I missed your comment. Thank you for your kindness. That means a ton. Thank you, Siamak. Well, we hope so, Mystery. I don't I don't know yet. I probably won't know until it's out. I'm usually just surprised like that. Okay, I'm just using some thick globby ass paint to try and cover up some of these parts that are being a little bit stubborn. Okay, I think this is the last little bit of white that I need to do. I'm just gonna give one little strip of hair right there. And then I think we're done with the, um, the white paint, unless I end up having to like do another coat somewhere. But yeah, oh, it's upside down. Paint is gonna be the death of me. <laughs> yes, it will. Okay, so now, um, I'm gonna just add a little bit more shade, bring her arm all the way down to the bottom there, and then we're gonna do her 
earring and skull. So I'm gonna go wash my brush because it is really just too sticky and change the water in my thing and just take a moment. I will be right back and then we are gonna finish up Lady Death and start on Vampirella. Whoop, whoop. So it's break time for a moment. Hopefully I can just do this. All right, short intermission. We won't see all this, the snack, snack guys this time. <laughs> all right, I will be right back. Gotta do a little cleaning. I shall return, my friends. I am back. <laughs> All right. Yes, Vampirella is next. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So I want a little bit of Copic marker right here for her um, arm. Oh, I have a toner gray in there. Wrong bag. Okay, so I'm going to start with C0. Where's my cool gray number one? Weird. Weird, weird. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so hopefully I can make this mix maybe just by making it darker at the bottom so there's not as much highlight. Let's see if cool gray number two. Have I ever done Mystique? You know what? I don't think that I have.
There we go. Now we'll get the gold in. Uh, I have not drawn a purgatory either. Okay, so now it's gold time. For gold, um, let's see. I'm going to start with YR30. And we'll see how this goes. Because I don't want to be, um, I'm going for a more pale yellow just because otherwise I, I don't want the yellows to start competing with Lady Death. Though maybe that isn't bright enough. So then let's try Y23. It's like a yellowish beige is what it's called. Because if I were to go with really strong yellows here, I think it would be too much. Already picturing, <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Thank you. Excellent, Rob, I'm glad you approve. Mark, hello, welcome to the stream. So this is pale sepia that I'm using now. Honestly, to me, it looks more like a pumpkin color. I might need to darken the shadows, like the actual line art on this one. There is. All right, and now I'm switching to E23. It's called Hazelnut. Thank you, Keeman. Get a little bit more strong shadow going on. And then the thing that really ties it all together, in my opinion, is putting a, a white highlight. So I will do a white highlight on the, the, um, the gold as well, because that makes it look like it's really shining. You hadn't even noticed. Yay. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to get a really dark brown. This one is E25. I'm just gonna see if I can put, no, that's not dark enough. Trying again, E29. It's the darkest brown I have, just to get a little bit more of a strong shadow in here to help with the contrast. You hadn't even noticed. Yay.
Oh, I missed your question, Chris Rowe. Would I ever do a Mystique? Absolutely. Okay, so I'll get these away. And I think I'm going to darken up one little spot. It's looking a slight hint too light. go. Now I'm going to give it a little pop of white again. So I'm using the acrylic paint. Yay, thank you, David. Jacob, welcome to the stream and thank you. Oh, we are going to zoom in a little bit more. Like that. to the stream. Happy New Year, love. Okay, I think Lady Death is done. Woo! One down, two more to go. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Lady Death is complete. This that you're seeing here is the tape that's taping the whole piece down. And I've learned kind of to leave the tape on until after I scan it. Otherwise, the, the paper can seem a little bit warped. So here we go, she's finished. Thank you, Mark. When is the Kickstarter? That is happening in uh, the beginning of, well, no, more like mid-February. But uh, subscribe to my email list and then you won't miss it because I'll make sure to let you know. Thank you, love. That means a lot. Thank you, Jeff. Okay, so now, <laughs> moving right along. OG Doomslayer, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to stretch the Vampirella onto a board. You are on the emails. Thank you, Jacob. Okay, so 